Yesterday prophecy is today's headline. Oh. We see this what I said the prophecy in Bible has been fulfilled. We see uh, uh, we see every day through the TV, the media. I, I, I want to give you scripture. The, what I said, prophecy. Yes, Luke twenty one. 26, it said, it, it last day, man, man will be faint from terror. It, they are afraid. What is coming of on earth? Heavenly body will be shaken. Terror. We see everywhere in this world is happening. This prophecy. Luke 21, 26, Jesus Christ predicted to disciples on the Mount of Olive about the last days. It had been exactly being fulfilled. Yeah. I want to give you another the, the, the passage. Matthew 24, 7. It also rested days, Jesus predicted that kingdom arise against the kingdom, nation against the nation. There will be Earthquake in various places. A lot of earthquakes is happening now in everywhere. We see through the media. This prophecy being fulfilled now we see. Hmm? But, yeah, you know, <clears throat> one uh, lot of prophecy, Jesus, and the, the prophet in Old Testament had prophesied. being fulfilled more than 90% of that prophecy has been fulfilled. It's just a few prophecy is not done yet. So I want to tell you one of them that is not done yet is uh, Matthew 24, 22. Listen, my brother and sister. It, this prophecy is very, very important to us. It's going to happen soon. I believe. If those days had been sh sh it, 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 it,
No one would to survive. But for the sake of elect, for Krishna, those days will be shortened. This prophecy is about the last day. It is uh, regarding it Amagero. All right. So why I'm talking about the prophecy that today's message, I want to tell you. Why prophecy? What is uh, its proposal? <clears throat> what are the benefits of this prophecy? Needless to say, uh, I want to give you the scripture uh, about this question instead of uh, uh, I'm going to explain uh, the prophecy. You understand uh, this prophecy, uh, this, this word. Tim uh, Paul said to Timothy, uh, 4 Timothy 1, chapter 18, it says, <clears throat> I give you instruction. The Paul talked to the Timothy. Keep in this instruction with prophecy, which I made about you, so that from them you may fight a good fight. Hallelujah. Huh? Uh, Paul uh, said another word to Timothy. Uh, 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 Timothy, 4 Timothy 4, chapter 14. Uh, do not neglect the gift of God, which was given to you through the prophetic message by body of elder laid hands on to you. Huh? What Paul is saying now? It's about the prophecy, the benefit of the prophecy for the believer. That's what my sermon is all about today. We all curious about the, the future and the, what is in store for us personally. The Bible say uh, the the Proverb twenty seven one. Do not post tomorrow. You don't know what they bring forth. We don't know tomorrow what's going to happen. So we people want to know about the future. Whether believers, unbelievers. All right, listen. Our loving God in heaven doesn't want his people to be dark and worried with the fear of the unknown that the world of the future 
where we are heading now. So, he inspired the Bible to be a guidebook and the roadmap for our life's journey. We are pilgrim. Bible, Bible say, Bible, Bible prophecy, yes, does indeed satisfy much of our curiosity about the future. But listen, gangs, God has a greater purpose for it then just what I said. These are wonderful spiritual purposes. You can see now. That's what I'm going to tell you. You will learn God's purpose for giving us Prophetic revelation. Oh, I like that. Prophetic revelation. God is going to reveal to you through the Bible you love. About uh, uh, both future of the world where we are living now. And uh, your future personally. Why is the uh, why is the Bible prophecy important? Okay. It's the uh, I wanna pick up and uh the Isaiah 46, 9, 10. I want you to listen. This is, a, this is a, the God's revelation for believers. I am the Lord God. There is no other God. I am the Lord. Lord Yoga, there's none like me. I make known the end, end time from the beginning, from ancient time, what is still to come. I say my purpose will stand forever. I will do that, I please you. Another scripture, Isaiah 55, 11 says, So it is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty. But I will accomplish it. What I desire oh, and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. Hmm? It's, it's so good. This Bible is talking to you. The purpose of this Bible talking to you. Oh, this word is talking to you. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord. Oh, amen. Huh? We have plenty of, of the proof, yes, of the scripture. Power of the God. 
is many, many prophecies. Always come to pass. Exact. As he told, he, he foretold us because he makes them happen. It was so comforting, yes, and inspiring to learn God's long range. God's long range plan for mankind. Pro pro prophecy gives you comfort and hope. Hmm? It gives you everything you want to, to know. What a blessing. It is real blessed. For you. What a blessing that God had. God let us know in advance what to expect and how we can be prepared. Look, I, I want to give you the scripture. Uh, second Timothy 3, 16, all scripture work is given by inspiration of God. So, all Bibles, biblical prophecy came from God, our Father in heaven. Hallelujah. God's Prophet for merely the messenger. I am messenger of God. That I am telling you. The word of God. Who spoke and wrote down the revelation from God. Some prophecies apply to nation and some to individual and some to the boss. Many prophecies are conditional, you have to know. Especially those that apply to individuals. You will see people, but I want to tell you, people mistakenly assume that the prophets were only predicting. No. No. They had a dual role. God sent to them to predict or foretell the future and to preach it. Let me take an example. The Jonah. You know, Jonah, <clears throat> you know the Jonah, evangelist. He, he ran away to the place when God instructed to Jonah, go to the city of Nineveh capital city of Arthurian. He hated those people of nation. Hmm? But eventually, Jonah obeyed and preached in the street of Nineveh. He said, Forty days more, and Nineveh will be overturned. This is a conditional word of God. Jonah preached 
that God sent Jonah to the city of Nineveh. As you read the, the book of Jonah, we see the full of picture of God's love and compassion. And we realize that no one is beyond redemption. The gospel is for all who will repent and believe. Hallelujah. Oh my. I take another example. Prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel 3.17. God said, Son of man, I have made you watchman. You are the watchman of this world. You have to remember. Hmm? God. God ordered you. You're a watchman. Like Ezekiel. Like Jonah. You're the watchman for the house of Israel. So, hear the word of God. I speak. I speak. And give them warning. Warning word from me. That God said to Ezekiel. All people, all Christians, individually responsible to God. But, yeah, especially I talk about the believer. Believers have a special responsible to warn unbelievers the gospel. I'm talking about the evangelism, of the consequence of the rejecting God. That uh, the God told Ezekiel at uh, the, the duty of the watchman. All right. Yeah. God's prophet was sent to, to motivate people with the carrot and the stick. You, you understand what I'm talking about? Carrot and the stick. If you obey, God gonna, you will be blessed. If you do not obey, you will be punished. That's carrot and stick. Carrot and stick message. God used to give the people through the, his messenger, prophet. The Bible says, Amos 3, chapter 7, God does nothing without Revealing his plan to his servant prophet. Prophecy included both warnings about punishment and the promise of reward. Hmm? So, you know, in, in Deuteronomy 11 26 to 28, as you know, this scripture, well-known scripture, I set in word before you. Today, today, listen, blessing and the curse. The blessing, the blessing, if you obey the commandment of the Lord your God you love, the curse, if you do not obey my commandment, 
he will be cursed. But obey, you will be blessed. Halle, conditional warning word. Hmm? Hallelujah. Every single biblical prophecy of the past event has been fulfilled perfectly. Perfect. Word is perfect. Hallelujah. And we will examine some of them in future lesson. Oh, yes. At the future prophesied event happen, we will have even more proof of the divine inspiration of the Bible. Yes, prophecy enables us to intelligently watch, I have told you, by a, a, the prophet at Ezekiel, watch with understanding because Bible prophecy is accurate and reliable. It gives us foundational world view and framework. Oh, are you follow me, right, my brother and sister? By which we can realize hmm, and analyze the news. By this prophecy, we are able to sort out what has long range significance from the flood of news. Huh? You know, we see, we, we are doing and seeing, we getting not a flood of news that comes, comes from the media these days, almost 99% of news is bad news, we don't want to hear. But you got the good news. I got the good news. Oh, my, my. Good news is Jesus Christ. We have to preach it. That's what I'm telling you now. Hallelujah. Uh, this, this prophecy, the, God going to give it to you and reveal to you the prophecy, the word of God, you got in your mind. Huh? From the Bible, it gives you everything you want to get. Bless the Bible say Jesus Jesus said, bless the eyes, your eyes. Bless the eyes which see, look at the, the spiritual world and understand the word of God that unbeliever doesn't understand. Bless the eyes which see the thing you see. Luke 10, chapter 26, 24. Yes, that you are blessed. That's why you are blessed. You see the spiritual world. We see what this world is going on. We know the end of the world. As I've said in Isaiah 46, 9 to 10, first time, the God I make known the end. The beginning from ancient time. We know, you know, what this world is going on through the book of Revelation. Not only Book of Revelation, Zechariah, Daniel, mm. Ezekiel in Old Testament, 
You see? You, 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 you can understand what this world is going on now. And through the, those books in the Bible, God put the revelation in this book. We want to know the end of the world. This is, uh, you know, this is a major reason our loving God reveals his secret. Hmm? The thing, what you want to know? Christ does not want to us to stumble, to be shocked, to panic. Yeah, to fall down. But our Savior doesn't want you to fall down, doesn't want, uh, uh, you know, in, in, uh, in the being astray. When God's prophecy comes, to pass exactly as he told, if he foretold that strengths our faith to trust him for care and protection. Today, today, God's church serves in the role of a spiritual watchman. Yes, church, church has responsibility to watch, watch. You are watchman this world. This partly explains why prophecy is so important and uh, why God wants his church to teach and preach his prophecies. Second Peter 2 9. Lord is not slow. His promise is not slow. As uh, somebody says, Lord is slowness. No, no, no. Peter said, He is patient with you. He is wa he, waiting for you a long time. Not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance. My Lord, Jesus Christ is waiting to come to him to repent. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Huh? I want you to read the book of Jonah 3. Uh, three chapter and four chapter, as I told you just a little bit before. See, you can see what spiritual lesson you can learn. God was teaching a people of Nineveh, and the main lesson He was teaching. Jonah and what are the main lessons he is teaching you when you are reading the book of Jonah through the, this prophecy you can get the good answer from the, this book Jonah what Jonah 
had he been doing? What Jonah had done when he got the instruction from the God? Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Give it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Yes. I want you. I want you to interest the, the word of God and that God going to reveal to you the word as a rhema when you read this book. He said, there are a lot of prophets in this book that reveals to mankind and individually. You can find out if you read this carefully this book. Thank you, Lord. Oh, bye-bye. I can't wait the next time. Bye-bye, my brother and sister. Hallelujah.